Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Torment, Tides of Numenera. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in front of these mirrors as uh, we continue messing around with them. Last episode we came down through a, uh, what was it? It was basically, uh, yeah, the, the sticker caves, the old ones anyway, and uh, we came in here and apparently these mirrors can heal me up. I don't really have, I don't really have too much health at this point or too many things um, to go with in terms of checks uh, for intelligence right there, but I'm hopeful that my guys are going to be able to make up for that. Uh, let's mess around with the mirrors a little bit more. So yes, we can apparently go through uh, the opposing mirror, through that one of these mirrors, and uh, go somewhere else. I don't want to do that. Let's see. So the larger one responds to the lightest touch of your mind, the smaller mirror is creaking to study you. Okay, what about if I move the slivered mirror that shows the red band around my neck? Mentally, you jostle the mirror and feel an invisible noose close around your throat and tighten. Gasping, you sink to your knees, fall to your side. Oh, I'm gonna die. And as your vision goes dark, you realize that if you survive this death, you've found a shortcut into the labyrinth. How convenient. I can't, can't die. Well, you just did. There, there we go. So this... Mm. <laughs> and the game felt the need to point that out. Okay, that, that it is a shortcut. Yes, that means I don't need to pay 10 shins so I can... Um, so I can die in the tavern, basically, by ingesting that sloopy goo or whatever. I have no idea. Goopy slew? I, I switched around things. Anyway, here back, here we are. Let's see what Welcome the other things back. do. Everything where you left it. Indeed, indeed, it is. So, including the mirrors. None of them broken. Uh, this guy has two heads. It's just a, a trick of the reflection, I suppose. Or is it? Huh. Could it be? I'm gonna have to look into that again. Um, let's see, so I could study the lenses, the mirror again, I could use... No, I could kill myself right there. I'm gonna use this as the last one. Let's look into the large central mirror. Of all of them, this mirror seems the most mundane. It shows your unaltered reflection, the crease between your eyebrows as you concentrate. Huh. And the gaunt, staring creatures in the hallway behind me! Oh boy. You spin around. Nothing is there. Uh... Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking that these creatures will attack me if I look or will talk to me if I look. So let's save the game because this mirror seems to be quite dangerous. So this is probably going to carry me to a place of death. Uh let's uh, just uh you know, yeah, this 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 mirror is mirror of death basically. That's what it is. So let's look into the central mirror again. The gaunt creatures roam the hallway behind you, dragging their metallic claws over the rock. Let's force the mirrors to oh Okay, so maybe it's safe. The mirrors strain at your bidding, and you see the things behind you clearly. They're bony, nude, snuffling at the air through a slit in their swollen faces. One of them wheels around, fixing you with a single hungry eye. It stumbles towards you, feet scraping across the stone. The rest stagger after it, slurping and gasping. Um... Well, I don't know what they are. Appar mm. Which one should I take? I should take this one. I don't want to hurt you. Return to your realm. Your waning, your warning does not deter them. Snuffling and choking, they stagger at you, claws outstretched. What are they? Oh, they're um, uh, crisis initiate. They're uh, yeah, abicus. That's right. They're like the guy. Oh boy, they're like half phased. What does that do? How do I know? How should I know? Can I right click? Okay, so I'm already taking damage. That's okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna try and issue challenge right there, or hook. The challenge uses, um, what does it use? What does it use, this thing? I think it uses movement. Oh no, consumes action. Okay, that's not as good. The hook, mm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and get this guy as soon as possible. No, wait a minute, I got abilities here. What is that? Sucker punch, hide, faint. Uh, let's go with the sucker punch over here that adds extra damage. Uh, and let's go with a maximum one because I don't want to lose this one because it's going to do a bunch of damage. Look at his health. Uh, I think this is going to be good. I, I'm basically going to go for the chance. There we go. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Okay, so I can move, but I'd rather not. I'm just going to wait here right there. Okay, so this is um, very dangerous because he's basically... He, he won't be able to... Oh, he's flanked. Uh, is that a good thing for him to be flanked? Because he won't be able to do anything. Let's see, well, it's probably, it's probably not a good thing. I, I mean, I, I know it's not a good thing. He does, mm. Okay, so I got a pistol. So I could take these guys out and, no, wait a minute, it's not my turn. Whoa, critical hit right there. Okay, so, um, 
Who's turning? Oh, is that guy? How is that? How the, do they jump turns? Oh, this is gonna be our death, isn't it? This is gonna be our death. Okay, so let's shoot. Uh, let's see. I can't really do anything. I could hide. Uh, let's see if I can shoot. So this guy, if I can, yeah. Oh, this guy's gonna go after? Uh, right after this? Okay, so I'm gonna need to basically focus on... I don't really know what's gonna happen, but let's let's do this. 90% chance to hit. That was a hit. Very, very poor hit, but it is. Let's see if I can hide. Uh, I need to use speed to hide. Well, makes sense. Let's just wait. Uh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so this thing is a little bit confusing. I have no idea what... What is... Oh, wait a minute. So that's the last one. Or something. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's how it works. Oh, it was a little bit confusing. Okay, so I see. I, I'm just not used to that. Let's see if I can get you. Highly unlikely, but... I mean, I might as well. Next time. No, I don't think so. Uh, you could run. Yeah. Nope. Can you? Let's do that. Okay. So that guy goes after. And uh, he's... What? One at a time, please. There's plenty of Tiber to go around. Okay, issue the challenge. That's gonna require a bunch Everything's of this. When you keep your wits about okay, and uh, they're all gonna attack you, which is fantastic. Let's see if I can move you around a little bit. I should be able to. Right there. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit better. Whoa! Oh, they're missing. Oh, because they have a fatter. Ouch. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to heal him. Oh, they're missing. This is good. This is good. And that guy over there, he's almost dead. Okay, so you are gonna need to use, yeah, some of these things. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need to get you some encephalic rush right there. That uses one intellect. It's not too bad. Uh, use it on yourself, please. Okay, that's a movement thing. That's fantastic. Uh, that means I can go in innervate and try to buff him. That is the stuff, okay. Now you, what can you do? You can go over there, and hopefully, let's see what you can do. You got living tattoos, yeah. That is actually they never seem to run out. kinda good. Kind of good. Well, if you succeed in this, but there we go. Okay, so basically he's gonna attack. Barely heard it. Try oh. something else. Well, you did do some damage. <sighs> I feel terrible. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, so, um, mm, this is really bad. I need to attack this guy. I need to go for maximum damage. Still not gonna kill him, but at least I, I hit him. So let's move them back over here. They're still doing that thing. Oh, this is so bad. I'm so gonna die. We're gonna need to heal, basically. I got some heals and healing com coming on uh, for both of them, I suppose. I mean, uh, he could, he could do healing. Well, depends on if he's gonna die right now. He didn't! Fantastic. Okay, so you can heal him, I think. Uh, he's got... Right? Out of range. Uh, well, I don't know what range that is. So can I move you? So that's the one over there. There's still... The fetter is, that fetter is really powerful. Um, well, Elegern, if you can't manage to kill that guy, you're gonna be dead. So that's gonna be interesting. But I really need to heal him up. Oh, that's the stuff. That is the stuff, okay. No, you're not. Need Can you some help. clears the fog of war? No, that's something completely different. Uh, you could heal yourself though, and I think that might no, but that's gonna screw up. Yeah, it's gonna screw up his thing. So I need to go for this. You want yes. More of that? Yes. So much. Yes. Okay. Next he goes and. Some elbow room, will you? Do you have healing items? No, you do not. Um, you do have. Some might, so let's see if I can kill one of these guys, but he might be about to die. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's a good idea to kill them. Uh, uh, let's just go with a normal attack right there. He's gonna be pretty bad at this. What a shame. Okay. Okay, so continue moving him around. It's not that it makes any difference, but I don't think it does anyway. But there we go. Okay, so they're still attacking him. Feeling a little weak. Well, I think you're about to... I don't think we can... What happens if they die? They die for real? I suppose they would, right? Oh, but this is this is just not doable. This is just not doable. Um, 
Let's do transdimensional damage to these guys. How do you... Oh, you just select? Uh, the resistance stat works the same as armor. I know, I know. Uh, and they are they don't have any of that. So, but you can... Okay, it's, it's gonna be a little bit more damage anyway. It's got 50%. Yeah, go for it. Missed. Ah, of course. Yeah, I don't think we're about to win this. <laughs> I really don't think we're about to win this. I think this is death Some for us. Over here. But I want to I wanna see what happens. I just want to see what happens. I'm going to reload, most likely. Uh, yeah, you're going to need to continue attacking. Uh, go for that guy, 50%. Damn. Yeah. Yep. So let's not mess around with these guys. How about that? Is that a good, a good strategy? Yeah, they're doing their thing. I don't know if they're phasing away. They're I can't. Is that a, a summon? Die. No, you can't, but you can also can't hit them very well, so just go for that and see what happens. These They're can't. teleporting. Oh, can't die. What? I gained... Do you notice how I gained experience? What happened? They're dead now, aren't they? Forever. No. I mean, it makes sense, but... Oh, they're not. Are they gonna explain that as well? Or did he just go unconscious? Time's wasting, cast off. Let's go. Yeah... That is a pretty tough fight, right there. Um... Let's go. <laughs> let's really, really go and not be here anymore. Let's not mess around with this. I think I need to come back down here with Calistege. So, or Calistige, or however uh, you want to pronounce her name. Um, so, yeah, for, for that, it's going to take a little while. So, let's just get out of here. Terrible place. Terrible death. I don't really understand. Oh, they got a fetter. Oh, that's what it is. So, lasting damage. Until next sleep. Yeah, we're going to sleep right away. So, yeah, basically our, all of our pulls are done. Are down, but we did gain a little bit of experience there, I suppose that wasn't too bad. And also we learned that we suck at fighting. Absolutely, we really need a fighter in our team, uh, because we really don't have one. All these guys are nano. No, actually, he's a, isn't he a jack? Let's see, he's a jack, right? He's a nano, he, and he is a jack, indeed. He is a jack, so... Uh, see you later, Skekt. See you later. Where does this go? A hideous facade is carved into the rock. It depicts corpses, giant maggots, and a ghastly woman who feasts upon human limbs. What? That doesn't sound nice. Oh, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I think I, n I need to go over there, though. Um, but let's go back to Circus Minor over here, because that is uh, where we can sleep. It's going to be easy enough. So let's just go there and, uh, yeah, sleep. And I don't know if it's going to be free. I hope it is. But then again, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't make sense if it were, because the thing is, I mean, it could be just a one-time bonus, and yeah, if if it is a repeatable thing, then uh, then it can't be free. Otherwise, it's gonna or the first one could be free and the other one is not. Otherwise, it's just gonna be, you know, a cheap way of doing things. You need to balance your stats, and that's that's how the game works apparently. Let's have a chat here with uh, let's with Kazmin. She's cuter. Let's go with that. You returned, revered one. How may we assist you today? Yeah, I would like to sleep here. We would be honored if you choose to stay with us. We do request a small donation of 40 shins to offset our costs. Oh, okay. Uh, we must rely on donations, even for our revered one. Uh, sure. Whatever. It's all fine. Rest well. Thanks. And uh, we are fully healed. Fantastic. Now, I'm not gonna mess around with too many things uh, with those guys that seem to be uh, really, really pissed at me. But I will be selling some of my stuff. We do have a trader over here, right? It's, uh... Felinda? Is it? Or is it this guy? Arms Merchant. I think it's the Arms Merchant. Let's just sell some of our oddities, because I don't think we need those. I think ciphers, from what I've read, apparently the setting is more in terms of just using ciphers for the tools that you need, not really the oddities, so I, I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking that, uh, yeah, things... Things... Uh, Things are not going to be a problem if I sell my oddities. The merchant is peeking out from under his way, uh, awning at the dark sky. He shakes his head as you approach. Strangest thing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, well. Can't let a little, a little darkness stop the wheel of commerce, can we? Welcome back. How can I help you? So it doesn't trouble you that night fell so quickly? Oh, that's not... That's for the nanos to worry about. Me? I don't ask questions. Curious people get themselves killed. Yes, they do. That's very true. They, they do with that. Yeah. So, um... Show me uh, what you have for sale. And uh, let's see what I can do here. So he's got a lot of stuff on him. 
and I will just sell all of my trinkets and all that. I do have a, a better weapon that I'm not using for whatever reason, but there we go. Energy damage, uh, plus three damage per effort, and that's plus two. So yeah, that that was that could have been a little bit better uh, for me to Good use this, balance. but yeah, just sell that. Uh, what do we have here? Healing sword on critical hits. Yeah, I yeah I didn't I didn't look at this properly. I should have used proper. I I mean I wasn't ready for the battle. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah, I I should have I should have figured this that, that I should have done this before I, I knew that was gonna be a battle because you never know right you never know so that thing is not gonna be something we use all those guys are kind of melee oriented so let's go with that Myco metal f fragment Myco yeah Myco metal vine fragment we got this last episode let's sell that I think we did uh, and we have this oddity brood's ears they are very expensive very very expensive so we might be able to get our hands in some good stuff after all maybe some armor because does he sell armor well it sells a sting charge which apparently is a light weapon okay that's good stuff let's let's look at the weapons we're using so you have an upgrade right there and uh, you have an eight fingered mace that's for four physical damage plus three chemical damage plus two per effort maximum of six and over here what do we have eight physical damage pl ooh, plus four per effort this is really good. Oh, it's a medium one. Whereas this one is... Oh, this is medium as well, but he's not very good at that, is he? What is he good at? Oh, no, he's, he's pretty good at medium. So this is the better... Oh, I could have taken them. Oh, there, he's talking in the background. If he did. I could have taken them. I'm going to take the on them right now. I am going to go back there, and uh, we're going to take them on, I suppose. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is much better... Much better. Let's see what you can do. You use light speed weapons. Are you good with those? No, you can use anything. It doesn't really matter. He's not really that good at it. So, actually, you could use a ranged weapon, although that doesn't do as much damage. This over here... Nah, this is, well, this one is good. This one is better because it has plus 15% uh, of weapon attacks because it has the bonus. So, let's go with that. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I didn't... There we go. Uh, what we have over here? We have another medium... Br oh, no, wait a minute. This is a special. Yeah, this is a healing sword. So it's a, it's a special weapon. Uh, that doesn't give him damage or buffs plus damage. Yeah, that's a terrible, terrible weapons over here. I'm going to sell those two. And uh, then if we need to buy them, we need to buy them. It, it doesn't matter too much. I don't think money is, is a big concern in this game. So let's just go with that. I'm going to keep that one because it seems special, but it probably isn't. Okay, so let's go back down there. <laughs> I want to kill those guys. I really do. I really, really do. Uh, yes, there's the, there's a the figure. I have no idea what that is for. Uh, and just a lot of people. I want to I wanna go down there. I oh, man. But are they going to reappear? They were really tough. I think... I just think that maybe I... I don't know. I... Uh, well, I, if I die, I die. Uh, that's that going to be how I'm going to take things. If I die, well, it's all in the name of experimentation. And that's... A great thing, isn't it, in RPGs? Hmm? Isn't that what we're supposed to do? So, yeah, instead of just chickening out, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. So, how do. Oh, I need to ask Chekect to take me there because he doesn't. He, he, there's no passage. So, uh, can you take me under the city again? Uh, can you take me back to your old lair? I wonder if he actually takes me to, um, to other places. Because it said under the city, which means that if I find other underground sea, uh, parts of the city, maybe there. I don't know. I have no idea. And I still don't... I still, still can figure out what we just did with this. Uh, and also, this is where, I suppose, we had to um, use that... Uh, whatever. Audit... Uh, what was the name? Sign? The thing. The thing. Cypher? Cypher. Yeah. We used the cypher to uh, reveal the fog of war. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. So... This doesn't sound right. Oh, we can't do it again. Huh. Can't do it again. It doesn't sound right, the sound over here. Was it the same as before? Hmm. Let's look at the purple glow in the side mirror again and allow it to carry you through the opposing mirror. Let's see what happens. A flood of purple light, st light streams from the mirror as soon as you look at it. It lifts you from your feet and carries you into the mirror on the other side. And off we go. Everybody. What was that noise? Oh! Oh! I, do I know this? Looks like Circus Minor, but it's upstairs. It's not Circus Minor. This is a uh, caravan. No, it's not caravan side, right? It's the other one. No, it is Circus Minor. I don't want to be here. I can reload. Well, if I knew, if I had known, let's just 
re reload the quick save much faster. Much, much faster. So we can't kill those guys anymore. They killed us, and that is that. Okay, let's mess around with other things then. What about this thing? Data flickers and flashes. Oh, uh, yeah, we investigated it again, but it doesn't. There's nothing. But this one, we didn't touch. Let's see what it is. This device looks like it was once part of a lo uh, some larger device or network of devices embedded in the rock beneath the city. Thick cables disappear into the holes in the wall. The machine itself gives off a low hum just at the edge of your hearing. It feels oddly familiar. Touching the etched, uh, etched surface reveals a display interface, but it seems unresponsive to your gestures and commands. The display does show a vast network of other devices it must be connected to. If you're reading it correctly, there's a vast array of machines and engines appearing somewhere underneath the city. This interface might control them. You poke it, swipe it, yell at it, speak gently to it, but the interface is completely unresponsive to your commands. Okay, so this is nothing. Yeah, the, the mirrors are definitely making a noise. That doesn't sound very good. Let's go. Let's go this way. To, uh... Yeah. Let's just go. Back to Circus Miner. And, uh, well, we could focus on a lot of stuff. We can actually... Actually, we should probably focus on the, uh... No, uh, first, before we focus on the main quest, which is what I was gonna say, let's deliver the book to the lady that we got the, uh, that we apparently stole the book from. It was a lady that narrates everything, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, our, uh, main mission is to look for Matkina, and Matkina was, uh, recently sighted in the underbelly, so I'm thinking maybe the temple that we saw down there is the key, because we haven't gone there. I don't know. That's the reason why we were down. Oh, we went down there in the first place. So who do I need to talk to? Is it Felinda? It is Felinda, isn't it? What is that thing above her hair, or head? I, sh I should say. Is that her head? No, that's behind her. That's behind. That's the. That's like a, a thing. Let's see. Let's go over here. I think that's her. The thief returned. The merchant says. Felinda wondered why, but did not ask. <laughs> I love the notion of narrating everything. I don't know. It's it's not. I it's, I like it. I like it. Um. So um. Here's the tome of singing thorns. I'm ready to learn something new. Felinda snatched the book from the thief's hand. The merchant says, doing so. And yes, it was the same book. Still sealed. Still worthless. Still priceless. The merchant traces the sigil on the cover of the long silent. Uh, for a long silent moment. As a reward, Felinda invited the thief, the customer to take, yes, take, one of the merchant's more ragged books as payment. Stock space was limited, after all, and the customer would be doing Felinda and Steristi a favor. You lean forward to examine Felinda's bookshelf. Okay, so I can choose one. Okay, so that was, after all, the purpose of the establishment, she thinks. Uh, yeah, well, switch, uh, trading books? Is that, like, in bartering books? That's, that's why it's worthless but priceless, because it is a book. Oh, that's so awesome. That is really cool. And I wonder if that is really... That I'm understanding correctly this. Because if that's the case, that's a very nice detail right there. Um, so, let's see. Angle and the Greater Good. The Rise of the Angle and Knights. Mm, two weeks and a day in the pleasure wagons of Osan's traveling menagerie and uh, soaring circus. That sounds like the... I think that sounds like a thing my character would like to go for. Humming and hiding the secrets of the labyrinth of sound. Uh, that sounds interesting for sneaking, but not really what my... Well, actually, it wouldn't be too bad, but he wouldn't learn that from a book, my character. Known powers, a historical examination of the rulers of the Ninth World. That is quite something. I think I'm just gonna gain some... Actually, wait a minute. That makes more sense that I'm just gonna gain a... A, a pool, you know what I mean? But still, I need to go for role-playing, and let's go with this one. Two weeks and a day in the pleasure wa wagons of Osam's traveling menagerie and soaring circus. Concealing surprise, Felinda handed the book over. She says, she says this, concealing surprise. Tastes uh, of lustful abandon hardly seem to c uh, the customer's type. Wh why? Anyway, my red tide has uh, raised a tiny amount. And uh, that's the red tide, nothing else. And uh, we have a book and is an item. Day 15, light, greasing, throbbing sunlight in my eye. Tried to move, couldn't. Well, that was it, I reasoned. I wasn't just hungover, I was paralyzed. Bound to happen eventually, someone must have mistaken me for the lovely contortionist with the un anagram tattoo the, and, a twisted me like a length, and twisted me like a length of rope to get at my tender parts. What? I don't... I don't even... They tried to... Is that... 
a, a euphemism for killing you, or or is that an euphemism for another thing? I mean, this is... Anyway, which, of course, I did appreciate. Okay, so I guess that's the answer. I cleared my throat to call politely for help, and a husky voice mumbled something obscene, and somewhat half-heartedly, it was dawn after all, in my right ear. A bare hip settled comfortably into the palm of my left hand, as uh, another of my nameless companions got comfortable. And then, of course, I realized the truth. I was not paralyzed. My limbs were merely pinned by the 30 or so strangers sharing the small bed with me. What a relief. Hmm, okay. Sounds interesting. Not really something that my character would go for, but apparently that's what I picked. A reader after my own heart, says Tibir. <laughs> the thief's companion said, says Felinda, wondering if Felinda was naked beneath those heavy robes. She says, sighing, oh, Tibir, I think you might be in for, for a good time if you just pursue some things over here. Tibir blinks, then turns to you. Guilty, he says, shrugging. Uh, well, why don't, yeah, but, uh, but I, can't, I can't entice Tibir to pursue his uh, pursuits. But there we go. Oh my god, that was... That was a weird... That was a weird book. That was a weird book. Anyway, what is our objective right now? Well, our objective is to, gonna, is to go to the underbelly again and see what that temple is comprised of. I don't want to leave you in the expectations of what is down there for right now, so let's just go. And uh, I wonder if things changed up here and if I need to talk to people and see different reactions and stuff like that. There's a few quests that we got before, so we are gonna we're gonna talk to a few people already uh, when we go back. Oh, by the way, uh, we have slept a few times, so let's go over here and try to fish something. I do wonder. Hey, Crooked Kick, how's it going, little girl? I'm not I'm not sure if she's very little, but uh, she looks up to you with a dazzling smile, but not fast enough to conceal the sorrow that was on her face before. Um, do you know where I might find a woman named Matkina? Matkina, she, she gasps. That's not what people call her. She leans towards you, eyes as round as coins. They call her the White Death, she says. She's an assassin. I don't know where she is, and I hope I never do. Uh... You, why are you scared of her? They say, she begins, then drops her voice to a whisper. They say she can freeze your blood by speaking your name. And if you look her in the eyes, all of your hair will turn white. Oh. You don't... You don't really believe those stories about Matka, do you? She blushes. No, she says, but she is a killer, and I... And she bites her lip. I have a soft, a soft spot for scary stories. Okay, well, sounds sounds quite reasonable, actually. Scary stories are interesting. Let's see if I can fish something else for me or for Ma for, uh, for a crooked cheek. Let's tug on the line again and see what happens. Uh, you take hold of the fishing line and begin to reel in the line. You haul a flaming word out of the water. Though you don't speak the language, you know the word means loss. The word sinks into the dark water again, dissolving, bearing the blackened hoot with it. Oh, that's pretty awesome. We got a word out of it. Nothing on the line. Okay. We probably should have come here uh, after. I think that's just once per day. We need to rest again for, for us to get another one over there. But judging... Oh, there was... We didn't mess with this. No, because this is the changing god something or other. There's a cultist over here. And a mapper. No, the mapper we talked to. But we didn't mess... We did a mess with this. And I kind of want to. So I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you hanging. We are not going to go in there. Also because I, I think that as soon as I go in there, a dialogue is going to pop up. And uh, we're going to need to fight or something terrible is going to happen. But I do want to talk to the Changing God cultists over here. And also mess around with these things. These are eyes. Or look like eyes anyway. Doesn't it? I mean, it, it's very zoomed in right now. A lot, of, a lot of this game is just like 2D sort of thing on 3D. You can see some very, very detailed things, but then on other things, it's not as detailed. It's kind of weird. Uh, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Torment Ties of Numenera. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!